I thought you might be interested in this um, <coughs> little project that I've been uh, working on. It's a little online radio that I've made, internet radio or Wi-Fi radio or whatever you want to call it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's not very big. It's uh, size-wise, it's 120 mil across by 60 mil high, and it uses one of the small 1.3 inch OLED screens. Um, the two controls on the left there, you've got volume on off and the um, rotary encoder for a channel select. So that's it, I'll, I'll switch it on. It comes up with a little boot screen. It, what it's doing there, it's actually connecting to my Wi-Fi. That's connected now. Generically, from that which we call evil. So that's on. Um, I don't know you can read the text on that. Because not true clear evil on has nothing to do with social it's life. It's not very clear on the camera, but to uh, absolutely pin sharp on the actual display. So there we are. So turn the rotary encoder, and it moves the the menu down. It's got uh, about 28, 29 stations on it, I believe, up to now. You can have pretty much unlimited. So you put it on the one that you want to listen to. We'll say old is paradise. Click the encoder in. Or you can choose, obviously, choose a different one. Um, at the very bottom, I've got uh, model info. If I click on that one, it comes up with the model serial number, software version, and when I made it. As soon as you turn the encoder, that goes back off. And it's also got a return to top, which is the bottom one. I don't know if you can just read that. Right on the very bottom, it says return to top. If I go on that one and click it, it takes you back to the top. And there we are. The, the little magic bit I've, I've managed to do that works very well is if you put it on a station, we'll say Classic FM. Put it on that one. And then when I turn it off, if I turn the radio off, next time I turn it back on, it remembers where it was. So it, it logs back onto the Wi Fi. There we are. It goes straight back to Classic FM. So that's pretty much it. Um, that's the workings of it. I'll show you the back. So the back has, a, has my little serial plate on that I always make. Um, the little hole there is the charging socket. Uh, it runs off a, um, a 1S LiPo, 3.7 volts. Though the, um, the chip that it uses, the ESP32, which is one of those, just a bit bigger than a nano, that has built in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Um, that runs off five volts, including the the uh, OLED display as well. So it has like a little boost um, board in it. It's like a, a charger boost board. Boosts 3.7 up to five volts. Um, and it also has a little charging circuit on it as well. So you can charge it from a five volt USB supply and that charges the, the LiPo back up again. So it's it's pretty much all self-contained. You just plug five volt USB into it and it charges it up. It takes about an hour to charge um, and I get approximately between four and five hours use out of it, depending on how loud you have it. I would say mid volume, I'm getting about four and a half to five hours use, which is quite acceptable. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. Considering the size of it, I mean, look, there's, well, there's my hand behind it, you can see it's quite small that um, there it is in my hand there we are it's, it's quite a small unit so nice and portable uh, made my usual little tag for it at the front there it is but uh, yeah very pleased with it just a, a daft little project that, uh, that I've done and um, yeah works very well 50mm speaker uh, there we are 3D printed um, bezel and the case is um, it's a commercial case that I bought from uh, RS a couple of quid that's all it was a couple of quid and uh, just drilled it and what have you to fit the parts in there we go thanks for watching catch you later